action, fantasy and horror seem to make up the bulk of current movie offerings, but filmmaker Judy Naidu was inspired to tell a story about her hood that doesn't involve gang wars, drugs and heists gone wrong. This eventually led her to bringing the kings of Mulberry Street to the screen, and Mel invited Judy and her young stars to give us the background story. Movie maker Judy Naidu has earned multiple awards and critical acclaim at international film festivals, but she remains in touch with the local roots. I grew up on Groom Street in Verulam, and back in the 80s, it was a fabulous place to grow up on. Uh, as for a kid, I couldn't have asked for a better place because I could run freely up and down the street. And for me, the best thing to do on a Saturday morning was to people watch. And that actually ended up being a huge part of, of my life, even though I didn't realize it until much, much later when I decided to write this film. I don't want your fools doing Joburg, but if you want to survive here, yeah. You better be a proper charo. Got it? Kings of Mulberry Street is an original idea and I came up with it in New York City. I had just finished doing a film course and one of my tutors at the, the school was impressed by something I had done and, and he said, you need to tell your own stories. You, you should keep telling your own stories. And on that flight back, the two characters, Tiki and Babu, emerged. And the title for the film, Kings of Marlborough Street, also emerged on that long 18-hour flight back. Kings of Marlborough Street is about a very unlikely friendship between two boys from different worlds. One comes from a, a, a slightly privileged, more educated background, and the other one is more street-wise and more rough around the edges. And it's this, these two characters coming together and forging this incredible friendship and just showing people that no matter where you come from, people are people and friends who are loyal to each other can just kind of overcome everything. What is this? Cucumber sandwich? Oh yes, sis. This is British men. In order to make the film a reality, there are certain things that were crucial. One being the time period had to be 80s. I chose Trenin's Park as one of the places to shoot in because it still looks the same. I think what was important in, in making this film is to have a film that was reflective of the community that I came from. So making this film was very important to me because growing up, opportunities for a child like me never existed. So if I wanted to be a, an actor when I was that age, nine years, in the 80s, that was never gonna happen. So I'm really honored to be able to create that opportunity now where two kids with no acting experience like Sean and Akil can have the opportunity to be on the big screen. I play the character of Tiki. He is a very out there character. He shows you how it is to live on the streets, how it is to be uh, fending for yourself in some cases. He has very cool life lessons that you could learn if you watch the movie. He's a brave character. He is a awesome, tremendously great dancer, as should I say myself. I play the character of Babu. He's a very um, adventurous boy and he doesn't have a lot of friends. The experience was actually very nice and I got very close to the crew and the actors and it was very nice, especially with Judy always there and helping us. It taught me to work hard, especially waking up at five every morning for maybe about eight weeks. It was very fun. <laughs> it's been absolute fun working with the two boys. Over the rehearsal period, we had already established such a strong bond. We got along so fabulously well that by the time we were shooting, I actually could read these kids very well. I know they say do not work with kids and animals, 
but I can't say that this was my experience and it was so fun working with the boys. Come see the new neighbors. They have such nice things. Shaman, come meet Dev Singh and Kundu over there. My son's name is Harold. Harold Singh. Tiki's my oldest. What's he doing homework? <laughs> What's your favorite film? I don't watch TV. <gasps> Who's TV? What TV? A stupid fellow. I'm talking. Big screen, Gazi. Place of heroes. Oh, yeah. What do you mean? What do you mean? As soon as things get better for the paper up in Johannesburg, we'll go right back. Things can't possibly get any worse, right? Welcome. Welcome to the Mulberry Wood Lani. Safe, provided you've got the protection. Well, who do we need protecting from? That would be us. Take, take whatever you want. Just don't hurt my son. No, that's mine! Ah, it's peace. Do you really think that we can get my bike back? Of course. We're just gonna bring Raja down. Put the dog in jail. Why do you need me? Every hero has a partner. Didn't you watch so late? Doesn't matter, any. Because you don't want to be a hero. Maybe you can show me. <laughs> a privilege to be able to make this film and release it in this month and to honor all the young people that made a difference so that we could be here. Everyone must celebrate the youth. They shape our country, they shape our future. Without them, there'll be nothing else for us. If it wasn't for one of us, the new generation wouldn't have been how it will be. So thank you and have a very good youth day today. Tiki and Babu, may they be the biggest heroes we've ever had. And happy youth day! And happy youth day, yay!